you know, you want to you want to use Gra GraphQL, you want to use gRPC, there are tons of resources to learn that. But if you want to learn how to build a even just an API based on HTTP, it's like, I don't know, go read the HTTP specifications. <laughs> it's like that's not that's not a good uh, experience for people. So, yeah, hypermedia APIs need some they need some marketers. They need some people to like Roy Fielding. He should have wrote he should have wrote one. Did he write one? A hypermedia API? I mean, what he defined. Like did, did was there sample code? I mean, like he he defined REST, right? So he defined like the I mean, the, Did he write what, a REST API problems. that we could all look I at? Mean, he didn't find he wasn't specifically talking about APIs. He was just talking about like REST is just in general the thing. Hypermedia APIs are applying REST principles to APIs. REST is a general thing for life or for what What was the context here? You know, pass me a context object. Uh, just for applications, right? It's like that's how the web works. The web is REST, right? Fundamentally, the entire web works on REST, right? Because this is, the, this is the, the thing I'd always bring up before of just like, you know, people probably wouldn't use the web if you had to get a book in the mail that you'd look up and see which URL you need to go to to log into Facebook and which URL you need to go to to go do this thing. And, you know, oh, which URL you need to go to to do a Google search. Like, people probably wouldn't like that too much, especially if then Facebook updated its login page to be somewhere else and all of a sudden you can't log in because you got to go get the new book in the mail, right? That would that would suck. Well, um, the web has a different thing. So the web has Google, and Google, I guess, was the Hadios, right? So Google yeah, is the, where you go to get your index of things like the number one search on Google for many years was Facebook.com. People would type Facebook.com into Google search, and then they click the first link to get to Facebook.com. Yeah. And so that kind of is the phone book, isn't it? The only reason that Google works is because the web is built on hypermedia principle, right? Because it because can crawl. everything Because you can crawl, right? That's one of the things that you can do because the controls are in there. So everywhere that you can go, all of the actions you can take are in the response you get back. So you crawl a root level domain, and then you can be like, oh, here are all the links in the page. I'm going to follow all those. And then the links in the page I get back from there, I follow all those. And the links in the page I get, and it's just like a continuous thing. And that's how you can crawl the whole web. You can't crawl a REST API. That's not a thing. The, the responses you get back, they're dead ends. Every single one of them is a dead end. You have to like, you have to know the specifics of the API, know the specific structure, all of that. So like literally, like the web would not work as it does today. It wouldn't function, wouldn't exist as it does today if it weren't for the hypermedia controls that are embedded into it. Mm. Um, we just don't have that. And that's why, you know, that's why APIs aren't discoverable. That's why we can't crawl an API to find out what are all of the endpoints, what are all the things I can do with this API. Mm -hmm.